that's for our, our prayer po. Thank you po, Teacher Wilma. Uh, it's so nice to have you po. <laughs> Um, so proceed po, let me introduce our next presenters, our speakers. Um, she was brought to a Sunday school by her father at the age of six and got saved in April 1990. She started assisting in Sunday school at the age of 13 in the Bible Baptist Church, Legaspi City, Philippines, and became a Sunday school teacher in BBC Legaspi at the age of 15. May idea na ba kaya kung sino? <laughs> she taught Sunday school in BBC Project 8, Quezon City during college and professional years in the Philippines. She was a Sunday school teacher in the Lighthouse Baptist Church, Abu Dhabi, UAE from 2005 to 2011. A Sunday school teacher in Lighthouse Baptist Church, Sharjah, UAE from 2011 to 2013. A Sunday school teacher at Taisan Outreach Program in Legazpi City from 2013 to 2014. She also taught BBC Qatar Kids Friday School from 2015 to 2016 and currently BBC Qatar Kai's Beloved Teens Assistant Teacher. She also received a co-teaching award from former students. So please join me in welcoming Sister Sarah Cortez. It will be co-presented by... Also, uh, another speaker is a member of the Brian Baptist Church, Doha, Qatar, since year 2010 Ooh. and she has been a helper and teacher in the kids ministry up to present. Psalms 1914 is her life verse, and Galatians 6, 9 to 10 is her motivating verse in serving. She believes that the command to train a child, Proverbs 22, 6, does not end at home, but a work we all have to do as we all belong to one family. So please also welcome Sister Jenny Claire Coyo. And, and in this workshop, uh, a while ago when we were having those activities, I am really blessed that um, actually my, my talk would compose most of the things that Wilma discussed. And so I'm really blessed to say, she never not explain. So we would uh, go more on the activities for our workshop. Um, I would like to have Sister Esme to uh, Actually, Sister Esme's part is combined with mine. Good evening po ulit sa lahat. Uh, so parang magiging, ito na po yung magiging parang uh, team building activity natin. Uh, gusto ko lang pong, may gusto lang akong basahin about team building para ma-explain lang natin kung kano ka importance uh, ka importante ang team building. So team building is essential in every existing team as it brings out the best in every member for continuous growth. It encourages positive and open communication. It helps develop and develop the leadership potentials of the members and it brings the team together as one. <clears throat> the very essence of team building is to bring together individuals who are focused on achieving common goals with efficiency and effectiveness. And what is our goal? Ano po ba yung mission natin? Ang mission natin is teaching kids to be like Jesus Christ, di ba po? So, to share and teach Christ to young souls because just like what the scripture said, Jesus loves the little children. So we, so we as chosen and privileged teachers should also love them and let them know that there is a loving God, a living and loving God who loves them that He died on the cross for their sins, and the, for their sins, for my sins, and the sins of the world. Ngayon po, we will do a, uh, we will do a activity, activity. Uh, mag-group po tayo ng two, so mag-count tayo ng one, two, one, two, or we will just divide on the table. Siguro po yung banda rito, dito na siya. So yung banda rin po, ano na siya. Ito na lang. Illuminate. 
where God is in the story, or where um, where are we in the story, or where, where the child is in the story. So illuminating that will uh, transform the children into um, critical thinkers, or into thinkers, reflective. reflective. They become reflective of, of uh, how the story happened, of what does God want them to learn in the, in the um, story. So, it says here that we are being transformative when reflection contains a call to action and a call to change. If you change nothing, nothing will change. So, if, if, uh, if the major instruction of how our strategies won't won't call for a change in our student, then there, would, there wouldn't be a transformation. So it's very important that um, we use our uh, our setting to help them transform, or even the stories that we make, uh, that we share, to help them transform. So um, in support that is simplicity and clarity. Reflection is not summarizing. So when, when uh, often times we we hear the teacher, wait, class, what what did you learn at the very at the very uh, end of the session? We always hear them. Okay, that's two minutes. So ano yung natutunan yung? Let's make it into that's informative. Let's make it transformative. A while ago when when I uh, to I told you that uh, it's, it was a blessing to me na, to hear all those stuff uh, a while ago in sa generic map with map. When, when we are being transformative, you share your points kung bakit nagiging, bakit importante yung message, yung, yung lesson ngayon at the, at the beginning of the session. So that it will bring, it will bring um, interest dun sa bata, curiosity na, why, why, why is the topic so uh, important to her? So, having your personal uh, experience with the lesson will make them, uh, <coughs> will stimulate their interest or your curiosity ng mga bata. So, um, with this, transformation is when you realize that you are the prodigal son. Um, it's not about just sharing the, the story na ganito, um, ganito kasi yung nangyari. Or say, of course, Jesus could come the storm, right? That's the information or that's being important. <coughs> but why are the disciples afraid? Why don't we trust? So twisting your, twisting your, um, your questions into a reflective question would make the transformation. Those simple, simple uh, strategies can help uh, the discussion to be transformative. So, when Jesus said he, he will be resurrected, because He told them that He will be resurrected, look at the varied, rea varied reactions of the children. Paano, paano pag ikaw din yung, yung nakarinig na uh, the Lord Jesus Christ will tell you na, I will be resurrected. What would be your reaction? Those are the questions that uh, will stimulate or will steer the thoughts of, of, of our children or, or the students. And uh, one thing more, if, uh, if uh, well, why do we why do we steer or why do we uh, twist the, the the questions to be reflective? It is because our brains remember the twist the unusual or the let's say hindi natin napapansin na na lines sa story though most of the time di ba pag uh, may shinier si pastor na preaching about uh, about about that or uh, sorry uh, let's say uh, David uh, most of the time we only see the si David tinalo niya si si Gulaya. But then, how? How did he do that? So make the children feel that uh, there was a session that we did 
the last time with the uh, David and Goliath uh, story. We literally measured uh, how, I mean, estimate lang naman how tall is Goliath. And then we, we marked it on the wall. And so the children went and then, um, ano, pumunta sila and said, ganito lang ako yung kalikin. Ganito si Goliath. And then, how old was David during that time? So we went, ganito lang pala yung age niya. I could, I could be David. But then that is my enemy. So connecting the connecting the question and the the question to the story and even the activities would make a transformative um, strategy for us to uh, transform the message. So connecting it with the emotions of the children, being reflective, uh, using the twist for them to remember. Ito um, nag insight ako na sa some reflective questions that we can use during discussions. So if you were back in the story, what would you have done or said differently? Perhaps the uh, Samaritan story. Um, if you were the Pharisee, what would you have done? And then uh, you, you dramatize. And then ask them, what would, what would you do if you were the first? <coughs> so, what would you have said <coughs> to uh, another character in the story? In the story? So, these questions will, um, will be reflective in a, in a sense that the kids will think about what will be their actions or what would be their feelings, what would be their reaction to a certain situation in the story. So, look at the worst person in the story and think if you ever acted like that person. Have you ever seen a person like that at your school? Or vote on a scale of 1 to 10? How easy or difficult would it be to do what Jesus said at home, among friends, at school, at the mall? How would you tell your little sister what this story is about? What's the most unforgettable thing in this story? So what one thing can you do in my life to show God I understand these verses? Diba, rarely na ganito yung set up ng questions natin. Most of the time, we will just ask, uh, how would you feel? Ganun lang, diba? But being transformative is twisting the, twisting the question into a more reflective um, uh, question. These are actually small things na pwede natin gawin sa, sa, in, in our Friday school session. So, uh, being reflective is uh, it's actually them realizing who they are. What, what, what I mean, Will they? Will they? Uh, will it expose, or, or, or the sto will the story expose, challenge, surprise, and calls them to change? And even the questions that we pose, will it challenge them to change something? So that's being reflective. Um, with transforming the young mind, <coughs> we have this um, session uh, in the school that I work with. This circle, and usually, I did not, I did not tell you the catch, right? Usually, uh, with the preschoolers or the non readers, they can develop a sense of seriousness and holiness. Um, with play, uh, play is an essential part of learning, so we use it to stimulate their minds, and so. When I threw the teddy <laughs> your attention, and you, oh, it's, it's my turn. It's actually with the, with the, with how we we use our props, our visuals, because preschoolers and non-readers are very visual and kinesthetic learners. They they learn by what they see and what they feel, and so. Stimulating them with games, like talking game, 
talking game is uh, when I threw the the bear to Macy, um, she immediately recognized that oh, it's my turn to talk. We usually do that in circle time. Right? Um, giving them that gumamit na kayo simple props, a ball or um, something that could uh, that could make them recognize that oh, it's it's my turn to share. It's my turn to explore what the story is about. And uh, involving the heart. <laughs> Children with uh, very, very easy, it's very easy for them to and, uh, make faces, emotions with the story. And so make them like, um, you want the story, uh, natin, Moses or Israelites passing the Red Sea, um, or if lead them in the walk, or or even in the stories where in uh, the character of Jesus is there, make them like uh, okay, but what in this part, tell them to be sad when the story has a sad portion, or tell them to to, to yell, or tell them to shout, or tell them to jump. When, the, when, when there is a victorious scene in the battle, you know, so making those twists will actually um, help them learn. So involving hard faces, making faces. But Renette, can you show us a surprise? Can you show them? How, how do you play? <laughs> surprise. Or you're bored. <laughs> or you're excited. <laughs> so making making those stimulus na na konting ano na konting uh, twist na kung sa how you tell the story would make a difference. Would transform instead of uh, informing. Okay. Um, reinforcements. Yung homework natin na binibigay natin sa mga bata would it remind them of the lesson? So think of the homeworks, think of the uh, yung mga crafts natin na binibigay natin. Would it remind them at home or even the lessons, will it remind them na pag uwi nila, Ma, <laughs> sabi ni teacher, bawal daw mag, bawal daw mag -life. And so, how will they incorporate it at home? So, ma, ma, ma touch natin yan. And we consider what we create to go home at least one thing they plan to do. Uh, being a transformative teacher should should have this one. Na, um, reflecting, of course, may reflection sila. It should be reinforced at home. Okay. So, next. So, young, this code is very, very true na. When we train up a child, we, I mean, we, when we train, we start when they're young. And so, young is when we want to start developing their good reflection habits. So it will seem natural to them as they grow up in that sense. Tama, di ba? Very good. Um, and, again, yung na-discuss ni Ma'am Kalina, the power of inquiry. Actually, dito pinibog lang yung, yung discussion ko. It is how we pose the questions to them or the, the lessons to them. Kung pa, paano natin tanungin yung, um, yung magiging lesson natin. A while ago, when when I was told that we will be learning about 21st century learning, um, di ba, paano kaya ito magiging, uh, how will it affect me as a teacher in the Sunday school? So it's it's more of uh, being reflective again, and uh, of course you're posing you the right questions to us. <clears throat> the opening why? A while ago, I told you about you you sinabi ko na I was blessed. Kasi kasi meron na ulit meron na tayo ng kaharol na ganon yung training. So why is the story important to me? What it says to me? Relating it again to your personal, 
to your personal na, um, experience. It will make it will make it more interesting. Pero pause muna tayo. Uh, at this time, I want you to take a selfie. Uh, you all have your phones, right? I want you to take a selfie. Like right now. Take a selfie. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Apakit. Okay. Selfie. Done. Okay. Selfie. Done. Pagulikan. <laughs> okay. Magagamit natin yan mamaya. Keep your selfies. We will use that later. Mamanay lang lang. Ayan. So yung the opening why. WH questions. Post this question so that it will stimulate the child to think to think reflectively dun sa lessons nyo. Um, kunwari yung story of Jacob. Di ba? Stealing is house birthright. God was not mentioned in that um, in that uh, story. But then, surely, God would have a point dun sa point of view, di ba? So, what would God say about the idea of one person stealing another's blessing? Those kind of questions ba? That uh, we can we can ask the children. What do you think God says to Peter in his heart after Peter betrayed Jesus? Those kind of questions, man. Just to, just to, just for them to reflect. And uh, a while ago, uh, we made the art activity, right? We made the art a while ago on, uh, to make a house. It's actually making versus building a house. This is the tra traditional way of um, teaching them to make uh, crafts, arts and crafts. So real art is, uh, is what we have done a while ago. Crafts is, what, is when you, okay guys, I want you to make a house, put, put a triangle to be the, the, the roof and the square to be the window, and the door, so it's making them like just copy this, and that, and we call them art and crafts. But actually, it's, it's it's not it's not just copy. Art and crafts should be like that. The, the child will learn how to collaborate with with his friends, make and build that house. How they would uh, manage their time so that they would be able to finish that activity. How would they strategize to make that activity? So, most of the time, ganito yung pinapagawa natin sa mga bata. But being transformative is going out of the box. So, building those houses a while ago na. Hindi lang nila kinapi yung uh, pinagawa sa akin. So, uh, it's, may, may times di ba na we're, story, we're telling a story. So, kung yung craft mo is making a puppet, you can use the puppet to dramatize your story. So, mga ganun na ba na techniques? <clears throat> and steering the heart. Kunwari, uh, retreat Sharing na 
God is carrying the cross or the Lord 